Hi guys. Welcome to a new vlog. It's 6.45. My ankle itches. The mosquitoes have been psychotic. Yes, welcome back to a new vlog, or welcome if you're new. My name is Jen, I'm an attorney. I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. It is 6.45 and we are headed to the gym for a 7 a.m. F45 class. As per usual, waking up was very difficult and now the sun, oh my God, this mosquito bite is really driving me crazy. The sun is rising later and later, so it's like getting harder to wake up, but we did it. The vibes are a little off this morning. My socks are falling down. This mosquito bite is killing me, but that's okay. I am working from home today. If you're new here, um, I work at a law firm and we have no requirements about going in office, so I usually go two to three times a week. Um, and Monday is almost never one of those days. So that's today's plan, although I do have a lot to get done today. And one of the partners I work under was out of town Wednesday through Friday of last week. And you know, sometimes like when your boss is gone and then they come back and just wanna hit the ground running. So I feel like he's gonna be like, where's this, where's this, where's this? I'm like, so I'm trying to have like a lot of assignments we've discussed ready to go because, um, I think he might, I don't know what he's gonna ask for and stuff. And on Friday when I stopped working, I left most of them almost ready. So basically this morning, I'm just gonna be finishing up a bunch of stuff to make sure that like whatever he needs and wants to work on is ready, but anyway. Okay, workout's done. That one's awful because there's only six stations. And it's a 45 minute workout, so you're just, you do the same thing over and over so many times at the stations. There's nothing worse than cardio that's boring. This is why I go to F45 and I don't just like go to a gym because I can't. Because I hate doing just like cardio on machines. It's boring and hard, which is the worst combination in my opinion. So, I go here and normally, oh, sorry I'm winded. Normally the cardio workouts are like so all over the place. There's like a bunch of different stations and you're kind of like running around that you don't even have time to realize how tired you are. This one, it's all I thought about. It was like, wow, I'm tired. It's 8.30. I'm setting you in my spice cabinet. as I've been doing? It's like 8.30. I've just been answering some emails and I ate breakfast and now it's time to take my vitamins. So I take a multivitamin, the Ollie one. They are a little stuck together. So I order them off Amazon. They were kind of melted when they got here. Bloom Nutrition Fish Oil. I take two of them. And then the Symbiotica Vitamin D. And those are my vitamins. Um, I'm gonna keep working now, but I just figured I would check in and take my vitamins. I like vlogging because it holds me accountable with stuff like that. Although I've gotten, it's been long enough with my vitamins that I don't forget anymore. Like I'm in a good habit. Okay, bye. Okay, I know I look crazy, but I just finished up um, a couple of things that I need to get done. And then the next thing I need to work on requires some legal research. And that is just like, sorry, I look insane. Um, and legal research it, to me is best done in bed. Like I always love to just like get in bed, put on like Gilmore Girls or something in the background and like do my legal research that way. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So basically, I wrote this letter to opposing counsel in one of the cases I'm working on, um, and the letter is basically done, but for certain like arguments I'm making, I just wrote like insert case law here. So the letter is written, but now I just need to find case law to support what I've already said, which I don't think will be that hard because I didn't make any crazy arguments. Like this isn't, I really don't think I'm saying anything too outlandish here. So we'll see, but here's hoping it goes smoothly. But yeah, legal research is just like a very calming, this sounds really weird, but it's like a very calming activity for me. And I just like to like do it in bed, put on a show or some music or something, and like just go to town and start investigating, you know, finding case law, like just trying different search words. I don't know, it's very calming to me. It's a nice task for a Monday. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, bye. Okay, hi guys, it's later now and you didn't miss anything today. I was just doing really boring work. That case law that I was trying to find was not as easy to find as I thought it would be. Um, all I'm doing tonight is just working out and then coming home and editing the vlog from last week. 
So that's nice. That's a nice calm evening. I don't have any work to get done. I actually didn't hear from either of the partners I work for all day today. I sent them both emails, it's like trying to touch base on some things, nothing. So yeah, that was chill. But yeah, that's really all you've missed today. I didn't do much. I was not in a good mood. And I mean, I worked. I was just like, it was just a rough work day. And it was like, it was just a Monday. You know what? It was just a Monday. I'm PMSing like, you know what? I'm just going to chalk it up to a Monday. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Whoa. It's not just raining, it's like raining, raining. Yeah, it's pouring, which I love. Those are the best times in Arizona. There's something in my eye. I think it's like a rain slash dust storm. <sighs> okay, off we go. To, off we go to workout number two of the Monday. You guys hear that? That's a really good omen. Oh my god, you guys! This is so exciting. Okay, I never, I'm from the East Coast. I never in my life thought I would be 28 years old and getting so excited for rain. I literally grew up with rain constantly. I lived in Virginia and then New Jersey my whole upbringing. And now I've lived in Arizona long enough that like when it rains I get so excited. It's Tuesday now. <coughs> I just was drinking. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I had greens powder in my throat. Today's been hectic. It's 11 a.m. I have been working from home today, obviously. I had a dentist appointment at 10. Anyways, I went to the dentist. My AC was also broken when I woke up. But, it kind of seems like it's working now because the people came to fix it and then while they were here, I was like, I have to go because I had to go to my dentist appointment. And so I don't know if they fixed it or if they're coming back later, because they were saying it needed to defrost before they could work on it on the roof. I don't know, it's just been a hectic morning. But now I'm getting in bed to work because as you know, I like to do legal research in bed and I have to do more legal research today for a separate issue. Um, not what I was doing yesterday, but anyways, I'm gonna do that in bed. back in 10 minutes. I have a client at 11, I alert, yeah. Rats, love you so much. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, um, it's Wednesday. Um, and I'm headed to the office. I'm gonna stop at Starbucks first, surprise, surprise. I did not vlog the rest of yesterday. I just, I, was, I got English. I got really overwhelmed. I was just having an anxious day yesterday and everything was setting me off. And like, even I was talking to like my boyfriend and my sister about it and like even saying it out loud, like none of it was real or as stressful as I was making it. But that's the thing with anxiety. Like I thought the world was ending. So I just didn't want to vlog the world ending. And then it was, but it was really like nothing. Um, but yeah, I just chose to like have a good evening and chill and it was good. I ran a lot of errands and that calmed me down a little bit too. just working on another coverage opinion. It's been a pretty chill day at the office. I met with my boss for a little bit and caught up on all the projects I'm doing for him. Um, that's about it. I'm trying to drink a lot of water today. So far, so good. Um, and I'll probably leave here in a little bit and then kind of like I did last week, I'll work from home for a little bit, go to my workout and go from there. Hi guys, it's the 
evening now and we are headed to the gym. Um, I did not go to F45 this morning, so I texted my trainer and I was like, can we make today's workout more cardio, like conditioning? I haven't had Celsius in a while. And then I was at Costco last night and they sell cases of them. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that could fix a lot of the problems in my life. So I bought a case, feels good. I don't like the taste of them as much as I used to. I think because the taste reminds me so much of studying for the bar that like I have bad memories associated with the taste of them, but they wake you up. Okay, bye. Good morning, it is Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. I'm getting ready to head into the office and you know the drill if you watched last week's vlog. I'm setting you in my spice cabinet to take my supplements. Okay, I'm taking my fish oil. And then I take my multivitamin. And then my vitamin D. <sighs> Let's put on some perfume. I, okay, please excuse all the mess. But this is my perfume collection, and so as you can see, I'm really not like a signature scent kind of girl. I just like mix it up and choose different ones every day. But recently, I have been obsessed with these ones I got from Dossier. This one's the Woody Sandalwood, and this one is Ambery Saffron, and I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna go Ambery Saffron today. And it's kind of making me think, like, they're so well priced that I'm like, should I be a signature scent girl and just like go with this? I'm literally just wearing like a huge rugby shirt and leggings today. That's the benefits of going to an office where you're not required to go in and most people don't go in is that you can wear whatever you want. So some days I look nicer. Like you guys saw yesterday, I had like a blazer on and like looked better. Other days I'm just like not feeling it. And I'm only going to be in for the morning today. I just didn't feel like dressing up. I'm going in because this angel paralegal has agreed to meet with me because she handles a lot of this particular type of assignment that I've been tasked with and I have absolutely no idea how to do it and she agreed to meet with me to explain it to me and I bless her for that. Okay, time to head into the office. I was so right what I said in last week's vlog. I said that whether or not I'm like stressed or overwhelmed on any given week really just depends on whether I have assignments I've done before or like new stuff I don't know how to do. And it is so true, cause like I woke up this morning and like every morning when I wake up, I just think like, what day is it? What do I have to do today? Where do I have to be? And literally the minute I woke up this morning, I was like, you're going to the office, you're meeting with the paralegal who's gonna explain something to me that I don't know how to do, but everything else on your to-do list, you know how to do it. And like, it just, a sense of calm washed over me. Like it's just, I can't wait till I'm a few years into this profession and hopefully just know how to do a lot more and then I won't get as stressed. Like, like I'll be stressed if I have a lot of work to do, but it's a different type of stress when you don't know how to do that work. Like, whew, feels good. So today's assignments, uh, other than what I'm talking to the paralegal about, today's assignments are just like coverage opinions, done a million of them, excited. Um, the work day's over. I am now heading to teach ballet. I'm so tired. <sighs> um, pretty chill work day, honestly. Spent my afternoon just summarizing medical records. It's like pretty casual, like just easy work, you know. Not too thought provoking. Yeah, I teach from 5.30 to 8.30. Looks like it might rain, which is always just nice vibe in the studio and then it's Friday I have a root canal at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning 
um, and then I'll just be working from home throughout the day. Hi, good morning guys, happy Friday. Except, <laughs> I'm headed to get a root canal, so I've had better Fridays. So I hate going to the dentist because for me it's never just a cleaning, it's always a cleaning and then like, work on your teeth once a week for the next month or two and that's this time was no different so because I had a cleaning and then I had a crown and then before they put the permanent one on I was like I'm feeling some pain so I went in for like just a checkup they took some x-rays then I went in again sort of for a checkup and see if they want to put the permanent one on I'm like no I'm still feeling pain so we decided to do the root canal now I'm headed for the root canal <laughs> exhausted um yeah it just eats into my schedule like I don't have time like I literally dentist appointments for me once I go get my teeth clean and they check everything out my teeth genetically are just so bad that there's always problems my dentist was telling me that like my enamel just never fully developed it's very soft it doesn't protect my teeth from anything so so I've just had like more work done on my teeth than you can even imagine and it's like a full-time job just I'm like you guys I have a life I can't come here every day to have work done and they know that I like my dentist I think they're really great and I he's always conservative and doesn't try to like sell me on a bunch of work it's just like the work that needs to be done but fuck you guys <sighs> okay anyways I'm gonna go do this happy Friday vlog at all the rest of Friday because I was in a lot of pain and then I was on painkillers and yeah it was just I don't mean to gross you guys out but um the canals it was actually okay um but the canal slash canals because I had one canal and then it split into two but it was really long so as much as they numbed me like it just went really far up into my face and it hurt really badly so I was in quite a bit of pain but it's feeling a lot better now, and the dentist said everything went well, so it's good. I go back on Friday to get the permanent crown put on, assuming everything has healed up as they want it to, but it feels like, especially between yesterday and today, like, I took a little Advil this morning, but I'm waking up today, I was in very minimal pain, which is good. Went to F45 this morning, I've just been working ever since. It's it's such a Monday. I'm, I've had so many cups of coffee, they're doing nothing. <laughs> like. Um, my work laptop is being very slow, like very slow, and I don't know how to fix it. And it does its own software updates, oftentimes right in the middle of when I'm working. Like when it wants to update, it just does it. So I don't think it's a software update problem. So I don't know. Anyways, I am just working. We have training later, pretty normal Monday. Normal Monday vibes, which are just like not great. But that's what I'm working on. Um, right now I'm working on a tender letter for my boss because we are doing, because we're serving as coverage counsel for this one incident. We're representing an insurance company, but it looks like this loss spanned over two policy periods and we were only the insurer for the first chunk of it and then it switched over to another one. So we are, so I've been tasked with drafting a tender letter over to the other insurance company for them to provide coverage for any events, for any events happening after it switched, if that makes sense. So I've drafted tender letters before, never one dealing with this particular issue. Um, but I, at least I have a template with the format and I have a lot of general language that I've already written in previous tender letters that'll work. I just need to mold it a little because this is a slightly different issue than just like a tender agreement outright or something like that. So that's what I'm working on. Happy Monday. Hi 
Hi guys, it's Tuesday, it's 10 a.m. I've been working since 7.30, like nonstop, and I just, there's like a couple of things that are due today, and I'm trying to get one of the partners I work under, I need his approval for some stuff, and he's busy all day, so, and I didn't know that till this morning, so I've just been like, trying to get stuff done. I really should make a to-do list. I think I have one somewhere, but I need to revisit it because I'm losing track of all these things I'm working on. Yeah, I'm just a little behind in life right now. I'm not behind on work. I'm just behind on billing. And I also just, um, how do I put this? I'm behind on feedback from my bosses. Like, I'm not behind on the work I'm doing. They're just not getting back to me about some stuff that's due. And so I don't want to be annoying, but like, I'm gonna finish up an initial disclosure statement for a case I'm working on right now. It's pretty much done, so I'm gonna finish that up. We really don't have much on this case because the plaintiff filed a complaint and like everyone involved is just listed as like a Jane Doe or a John Doe. They have no names. The Phoenix Police Department is making us jump through hoops to get this police report, so we don't have it. So we have like pretty much no information on this case. And I finally got a hold of one of the people who was involved yesterday and was told that she would have names and she would know stuff. She was like, I don't know who told you that, but like, I don't know anything about this. So, so basically I'm gonna finish up this disclosure statement that doesn't really disclose much and go from there. later now and I don't know where the day went. I actually got a lot done today. It was really productive. I just sat in my apartment and worked all day. Now I'm running to my wax and then my workout. I'm kind of late, but I'm doing the best I can. Good morning, everybody. I'm so tired. I also feel like this vlog has just been like a little footage each day and not very cohesive. And I kept thinking I was gonna end it and edit it, but I haven't edited it yet, so I'm just still vlogging, so I don't even know. But it's Wednesday now, and I'm headed to the 7 a.m. class. I'm really not in the mood this morning, like, really not in the mood. Um, I slept well, except for I woke up in the middle of the night in so much pain because I had fallen asleep on the side of my root canal. I sleep on my stomach a lot. And I think not only was I on that side of my face, I was like clenching my teeth. So I woke up with a really bad toothache in the middle of the night. But then I took some Advil and it was all better. I have to go to the office today to meet with my boss if he's around. It's like we schedule these meetings and like half the time I don't even know if he knows about them. All right, I'm too tired to talk. I gotta go, bye. It's over, we did it. That's really all I can say right now. Hi guys, I'm declaring a hard reset on this day. First of all, I'm not going into the office because my boss emailed me and said he's gonna be in a deposition when we would normally meet. So he's like, um, we'll only meet if you're around this afternoon and want to. And I don't really have any like specific questions or anything. I'm pretty much just working on coverage opinions for him and the other partner I work under through the rest of the week. Like I just have a ton of coverage opinions, which is just a lot of legal research and analysis. And usually with those, I just write them, send them, and then the partner will tell me like, oh, I actually disagree with your analysis, things like that. So that was a long-winded way of saying I'm not going into the office. I am doing laundry, I'm washing my bedding, I'm like getting stuff done. I have spilled coffee all over this apartment. Like I just, <laughs> The vibes are off. I cried a little because I was watching my sister's YouTube video and she mentioned my mom and I started crying and then I was like, and my skin's breaking out so I put this mask on and like we are just making, I'm resetting this day. We're starting it over. <laughs> I'm gonna get to work and, and that's it. And the day begins now. We are starting over. Hey guys, it's later now. I just jumped in my apartment's pool because I thought it would be refreshing and it was. I need to finish a coverage opinion. 
I need to look over a file that I'm taking a deposition for next week, but I need to send the partner whose case it is an outline of what I'm planning on asking like tomorrow at some point. So I need to look over the file today. Anyways, that's what I'm working on. I'm almost done with this one coverage opinion. I just need to finish it. I've like been dancing around finishing it for a while. I've like, <sighs> I've been avoiding certain sections of it, but I was working on it before I went to the pool and like it's really not as complicated as I made it in my head. So I just need to finish it. And then I'll look over the file. I have my second workout of the day later. We did it, I got it done. I just, that was, it wasn't like a complicated coverage opinion. I just, it just like took longer than I thought it was going to, I guess. It took a long time and a lot of words ended up being seven pages single spaced. It just took a while to like comprehensively explain all the potential coverage issues. None of them were that complicated and we don't really have any facts on this matter yet. So like everything's just hypothetical. Like if this turns out to be true, then this might be an issue. If this turns out, but like we don't really have facts. So to explain all of that, just took a lot of time and words, but I got it done. I still need to proofread it before I send it to my boss. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll probably wrap it up for today and get ready for my workout. Um, I might start looking over this file that I'm taking the deposition for, we'll see.